what do you think about what we can learn from the patients themselves? Probably one of the first things that I like to think about is to remember that I don't think of patients first as patients. I think of them as people and consumers, because I think that it's important that we look kind of across their lives to understand their experience. And if we think of them as patients only, we can actually start our focus a little bit too narrowly. And we, list, we miss out on opportunities to see ways that we may be able to bring programs and, and offers to them that can help them more broadly than just their disease state. And mm -hmm. I think it's important for us to do that. Well, and at Horizon, you guys work in a wide range of therapeutic areas. I mean, the, the list is quite long, from rare to maybe more common. But is there a common foundation, a common approach that you take to listening to the patients? The first thing that I would offer is that what all of our disease states have in common, even though, for example, gout is a more common disease state than cystinosis as an example, but we still focus on a, a portion of the gout market. And what our therapeutic areas have in common is that they are all relatively rare. And the reason that's important is that rare disease patients often feel invisible because there's not broad focus on their disease state. It's not something that's commonly known. It's not something that's commonly understood. And I think that that provides us an opportunity to actually serve those patient communities by bringing some awareness to the diseases that they suffer. 